The Oklahoma Sooners got a commitment during the spring game. And if you're an Oklahoma fan, you kind of wandered around and you said, who is it? Is it a 2026 guy? Is it a 2025 guy? Because the spring game list was absolutely loaded with visitors. But it turns out Oklahoma got a 2027 edge player who's going to be an elite prospect, a guy that had over 23 offers already, including the likes of Georgia and many others on that list. And it's one that we got to talk about and break down today. And I want to hear from y'all. So make sure you're joining the discussion, uh, jumping down in the comments below and giving me your opinion on the Oklahoma Sooners latest commitment from the edge rusher Zane Rowe out of Denton Geyer High School. So we got to talk about it. Zane Rowe out of Denton Geyer High School. Now, this was a commitment that I'm going to be honest, I don't think anybody was really expecting to get on Saturday. But the 6'5", 225-pound edge rusher out of Denton Geyer ends up on campus once again. I believe this was his fourth visit that he's taken to Oklahoma. Uh, I think third this year specifically. But this comes off the heels of Kevin Sperry announcing that he's transferring to Denton Geyer, which you kind of wonder if that has any effect on this recruitment at all. Zane Rowe is a prospect that, as I told you, uh, he had 23 offers. Actually got that wrong. It's 25 total offers. And you've got Georgia on that list. Of course, you've got Texas on the list. But some of the other schools you've got is Texas A&M, Ole Miss, Oregon, Miami, Houston, Nebraska. Obviously, a lot of the power four school power four schools list, they're showing up. Miguel Chavis gets this kid on campus for the spring game. And by no sheer luck did Miguel Chavis get a commitment out of somebody he's recruiting this weekend because his edge rushers showed out during the spring game, specifically PJ Adebayore. Now, looking at Zane Rose tape and looking at Zane Rose film, this is going to be a guy that I I mean, he's definitely gonna be a top 100 player. Dare I say he's potentially a top 50 player or anything like that? I think that's what we're looking at. But I want to show you guys some film here uh, for Zane Rowe real quick while I talk a little bit more about the recruitment. So let me go ahead and pull that up for you guys so you guys can see it. Because when you watch his film, he is explosive off the edge. He finds the gaps, and he's able to get back there, cause havoc in the backfield. But... Zane Rowe, let's pull up his stats. What he did last year, nine games played, 18 solo tackles, 23 total tackles, two tackles for loss. He had five QB hurries. He had two sacks. Obviously, Zane Rowe as, see, 2027, it's going to put him as a sophomore. Sophomore? Yeah, sophomore this upcoming year. Yeah, sophomore. Obviously, as a sophomore, he's got room to grow. He's got the ability to come in, add a little bit more to his game, and we're going to see him attend a couple more camps. And so by knowing that, you know that Zane Rowe is probably going to be a pretty good prospect for Oklahoma. Now, this is significant, and here's why. He's not the only prospect at Denton Geyer that is going to be pretty elite in that class that Oklahoma could potentially get. Kyron Haywood is a 6'1", 260-pound defensive lineman. And Kyron Haywood is a guy that you'd expect is going to be a Todd Bates play. He's an interior guy. Now, Haywood only has five total offers right now. But he's got the offers from Arizona State, Baylor, Houston, SMU. So four power four schools and North Texas. Kyron Haywood, he's been on campus. And you imagine he's probably going to trickle in a little bit more with Zane Rowe, with Kevin Sperry. Maybe even with Rozzy Sperry, depending on how much he shows up to campus. So Oklahoma is now in potential in two big players out of Denton Geyer. That's why I think this is a little bit more significant. And you get a guy in 2027, which is crazy because in the 2024 class, you got Justin Hatton. And we thought, that's crazy. It's two years out. That seems like it's been a pretty solid commitment as of right now. And so you imagine. With Zane Rowe, 2027, obviously it's pretty far out. Oklahoma gets somebody in there. They get to be able to go in there and recruit. 
I think this is big for Oklahoma, guys. But I want to hear from y'all. So join the discussion. Let me know. If you guys have made it this far and you have not already, make sure you hit that like and you hit that subscribe button.